Hello guys, today we'll have a quick review of basic features of filament admin panel. It's not actually advertised as admin panel, it's more like a tall kit, kit on tall stack, which is Tailwind, Alpine, Laravel and Livewire. And it consists of the components, which is admin panel, and inside of admin panel there's table builder and form builder. And we will create a quick admin panel for task list like this, including the relationship to the user. So there will be a table, which you can use with checkboxes, pagination, then there will be create form and edit form. So how to build that in filament in just a few minutes. So we have totally fresh Laravel project with just a few things created. So in the database, we have users, seated five fake users and tasks, each task related to user. So we have models for them. We have migrations, but nothing visual, no pages. And let's try to create the admin panel for that. At least the basic version to view the tasks and create them with filament. And we just copy and paste everything related to the instruction. We install filament. Then we use the migration to migrate their data for filament users. And this is actually important. Filament has its own filament user model or structure, and you need to override the default user model to extend the filament user. And I will show you that in a minute. For now, let's create the filament user with that artisan command, make filament user. Let's choose a name, admin, admin com. Password is password, for example. Administrator, yes and star repo no not at the moment okay so we have a new user in the database we have filament users table and if we refresh we have that user then what we do if we scroll down let's publish the config not necessarily we will use that in this video but just in case let's follow the configuration and then this is important so for user you need to extend your default user model which is user php this one instead of having authenticatable you need to also implement filament user so implement filament user and then it automatically adds filament user here on top and then you need to add this one use is filament user to the list of traits is filament user and now you can already log in with filament with that admin user let's try it out actually so our home page doesn't change at all but if we go to slash admin we have a login form admin admin com password and we are inside our dashboard for now we haven't created any tables or forms or anything but this is how the default installation of filament works and now let's create the table and the forms for the task model in filament it's called resources so resource is kind of like a crud for one object for one eloquent model and let's create filament resource for task so we paste the command and instead of customer we do task and we have our new resource it is created in app filament resources task resource there are a few files, but what we need to take a look at is task resource PHP. By default, any filament resource consists of form, table, and some extra methods which may be left as default. So we care about those two. So let's build a table. And for example, we build a table from column of task name and user ID. And if we take a look at the documentation of building tables, all you need to do basically to build a table is to provide a lot of columns and a lot of filters, whichever you need. It's filament syntax, so you need to dive deeper into what columns can there be. So for example, let's copy and paste here. The columns is an array, so the first element of our array will be column text name. We don't need the primary here. And also we need another column of username, which is a relationship. So filament allows you to do something like this, user.name, if the main resource, the main model has that relationship name. So task has a user function with belongs to. So we can specify this for the simplistic example. Let's not do any filters. And now let's refresh our dashboard. Here's our dashboard. We refresh and we have a new menu item called tasks. If we go here, we have our table. There you go. In the table, you can change the pagination to five. For example, you can delete selected records with this button with confirmation window. And basically it's a simple table. So if you want to expand the table in the documentation, you should read about different columns, different filters and stuff like that. There are quite a few examples in the documentation. And now let's build another part of the resource, which is forms. So in the resource file, we have table and we have form. And similar to the table, all we need to do is provide the schema, provide the fields, 
according to filament documentation. So here is an example. For example, text input is one of the components. Also, I will copy and paste it into my array. Here, text input name, which is autofocus required. Okay, I'm fine with all of that. And then the second one should be a drop down with values of different users. So for that, in the documentation, I found a separate field type, which is belongs to select. So I copy and paste it here, belongs to select user ID relationship named user with display name. And we don't need that semicolon here. So like this. And now if we refresh our dashboard, so we have the task list. If we click create, we have a create form, ABC something, and we choose the user. We can start typing. It will show the user options and we can create, create and create another or cancel. So let's click create. It refreshes the form and goes back to the edit and not to the table. I guess it should be configurable somewhere, but I didn't dive deeper. And if we go back to the tasks list, our ABC is in the list and we can click edit as well. And it will reuse the same form. We can edit that, save, saved. And then we go back to our table and the record is saved. So this is how easy in general it is to build a table and form in filament. So all the work with filament admin panel and its parts is basically reading the docs and finding the exact syntax for different types, different input types and stuff like that. So you kind of need to learn filament language, but it's pretty readable and pretty clear to understand. And to be honest, over the years, I've seen quite a few of such generators of the code. It's actually code generator with additional layer of syntax on top. So similar admin panel has been historically Voyager, Laravel backpack. So each of them have their own language of how to name things to build the table, build the form, build other pages. Filament is just kind of new wave of that with tall stack based on live wire and tailwind. Alternative approach to that is our own quick admin panel. This video is not an advertisement for quick admin panel, but I just want you to understand and to compare. There are also visual builders. So without learning any new syntax or language, you can create CRUDs. So in our case, this is how quick admin panel looks like. So you create, for example, tasks, and then you add the fields one by one. You can remove or add timestamps, add new fields, for example, name, a lot of syntax things. Then you save the CRUD and it generates the code for you. So you don't need to learn any syntax or documentation, the generated code, and I will show it for you. View code, for example, user model is not some kind of filament resource or Voyager CRUD or anything. It's a typical Laravel controller with user management. So users controller with gate, with relationships, with returning views, with form requests and all of that. So this is another approach and historically it worked for us. So if you prefer that one, you can try out quick admin panel, or if you like what filament has been doing, definitely use this great tool. And also I advise to follow on Twitter, its author, Dan Harin. He releases a lot of new stuff for filament admin and for the form builder and for the table. So even 14 hours ago, there was something new released, translatable content, for example. So follow him on Twitter to get the newest details. And speaking of newest details, beware of the versions of the filament, because if you go to the documentation page from filament admin, there's the tool that you want to use, which is admin panel, for example, but Maybe you want to use just the form builder or the table builder, which are part of the admin. And for the form builder and table builder, there were version two released, but for the admin panel, version two is incoming. So if you go on GitHub, you can see in the documentation that admin panel current version series is one, but for the form builder is version two and table builder version two. Version two for the admin panel is coming quite soon. What do you think about filament? Have you used it or will you use it? Shoot in the comments below. And that's it for this time. See you guys in other videos.